press the bell icon and never miss a video from the Aesthetic Clinics and Dr. Debrat Shom. We hear a lot of the celebs and page 3 crowd opting for non-surgical procedures like Botox, dermal fillers and skin lasers these days. Doctor, can you tell us more about this? Not only celebs and page 3 celebrities, uh, there are a lot of people who are opting for these non-surgical procedures simply because these are lunchtime procedures. So what that means is you could potentially come out of work, get some of these procedures done and get back to work without people even realizing that these have been performed. Uh, that obviously is wonderful in a field or in a, in a branch of medicine where majority of the people don't even want their spouse to know that they've got a cosmetic surgery performed. So from that uh, uh, situation, not having downtime is one of the big opportunities that these procedures provide. The other advantage that, these, that comes out of these procedures is that there's uh, virtually no downtime. So there's no risk involved. Uh, risk is something that you don't want to be taking, especially as a consumer, when you want to be looking better than you did yesterday. So from that perspective, these procedures have started becoming very popular. Let's talk about some of these in detail. Botox or botulinum toxin as it is known has taken the world by storm. This was a small uh, protein which was found to treat squint and then now look at what it's done. It's gone ahead and removed facial lines. Almost everything in California where I used to practice earlier used to be Botoxed including the sunrise and the sunset. And uh, in some ways India has gone the same way. Every celebrity that you see on TV irrespective of what they might say has been Botoxed at some point or the other. What Botox does is it removes facial lines, softens them, and makes the visage appear much more graceful and the contour lines appear much firmer. So as a result of which people look much younger than they are at any given point in time. They can also be used to treat perception lines. So for instance, if you are a surgeon and you've got these perception lines on your forehead, which end up making you look worried or make you look stressed, we could take these lines out for you. Or for instance, if you've got a wife who scares you by looking at you with furrowed brows, those could be taken off as well with Botox. So Botox has many advantages. Fillers on the other hand are a protein which are injected in order to fill substance up. So the simplest way to think about it, especially if you live in India is, if you drive on a pothole road, the way to treat the pothole is to basically fill it up with tar. Similarly, in this particular case, we fill up depressions on the face, fill up lines on the face with collagen. So as a result of which collagen is the normal byproduct of what is skin. It's the smallest unit of skin. So you take collagen, which has been biosynthetically prepared, and inject it into the laugh lines, etc., so that you've got a plain, lineless, creaseless face. That's what a filler ends up doing. Fillers are also used nowadays more and more uh, by Indian uh, heroines, celebrities, as well as by the common man itself in order to get voluptuous lips. Angelina Jolie has made the art of having lips bigger than usual, or the bee stung lips as they are called, an art form in themselves and people want to go for that and that's how fillers uh, make a difference to how a woman could look more attractive, more sexy and uh, uh, look more alluring. Skin lasers are uh, in a simple format if you had, let's say if you had a table and there were marks on the surface of the table, then you could take a sandpaper and sort of remove those marks away and even the surface out. Skin lasers in that sense, laser as it is known is light but in this particular case, the light is controlled by a computer which removes millimeters of skin or the superficial most layers of the skin, thereby revealing younger looking, uh, better skin which is underneath and re uh, releasing smoother skin onto the surface. Lasers which are ablative in nature, which basically go below the dermal surface, can also go ahead and cause collagenesis. So as a result of which acne scars, etc. can disappear. So these are the main surgical procedures which are being performed nowadays. Botox is fairly cheap. Uh, the cost of uh, Botox can range from approximately 300 rupees per unit, which is about 10 bucks, uh, to about 1200 rupees per unit, which is about 40 bucks. And uh, uh, th that really depends on your treating surgeon or your treating physician. Fillers are charged per while, approximately 18,000 rupees or uh, about 400 US dollars is what it costs per while of filler. Generally, one while is enough to take care of the lips for a lady and skin lasers are charged per session 
with the carbon dioxide laser, which is the most common ablative laser being used in order to give smooth skin, being costing around 18,000 rupees per uh, sitting. The first thing that I, uh, I'd like to tell our viewers is, think of the number of dresses you have, which cost 5,000 rupees and upwards, and keep staying in your wardrobe. Your face, unfortunately, goes out with you each time, does not stay in the wardrobe at all. So therefore, these, in my opinion, are not an expensive way to look good and enhance yourself and your face. Well, Doctor, it was a pleasure having you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me here. For more such information related to your health, log on to health.india.com. Hello, I'm Dr. Devrat Shom. I'm a facial plastic surgeon. I trained in the United States, Singapore, Europe, and India, and now currently I'm practicing in Mumbai, India. Facial plastic surgery is a specialty in which plastic surgeons train only in surgeries of the face. This is a very nascent speciality in India and there are only three or four surgeons in the whole of India. Thank you for allowing us to participate in your case. from the aesthetic clinics and from Dr. Dave Bradshaw.